Hi guys, it's Lorraine here. We're going to do a little bit of a tutorial today. Um, I thought I might do some skies. A lot of people are asking me how to do the skies. So we're going to do a little bit of blending. I'll tell you what colours we're going to use. So we're going to use the oxides. So we'll use seedless preserves. Broken China, faded jeans, and then just to let you know, to turn it into a night sky, I would normally go over it with the black soot. So we'll do an evening sky first, and then we'll try to uh, do a moon as well for you, just to see and let you know basically how I blend all the colours. So I'm going to start off with the broken China. And grab my blue brush okay so I normally have scrap paper dab on the paper before we start applying to the card so what I do I go gently go across okay so if you do it left to right, and you will see Wendy has done this as well in her videos. You find that it gives a lighter coverage and a more smoother coverage. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Just put a bit of a hilly paper there, dab on. And then go across. So we keep the white underneath. Okay. So, just build up the colour, keep adding, all the way down to the line where you've got your mask. Okay, that's better, you can see a bit better now. And then we'll come in with the faded jeans. get some ink on the brush again dab off go across so you can see the effect this gives when you go all across left to right left to right all the way down so now I'm going to mix it up a bit I'm going to apply it all oh, hang on I'm going to apply it in circular motions now Start from the edge. Now can you see how the ink's heavier? Can you see how, how it's darker now? When you do it in a circular motion, it gives a like a heavier coverage. So, you know, it depends really what you want, what effect you want with regards to the inks, how dark you want it, how light you want it. You know, but always, 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 when you apply, you know, the ink, always dab a little bit off at first. Go light, don't press hard, you don't need to press hard. And then if you see, that brings it darker. So I'm going to add a little bit more because I want to do like a night... A night scene my paper mask isn't sticking very well unfortunately sorry guys and just keep adding okay so that's using like a stencil brush now there are other brushes you can use so I'm going to use this because I know I've used blue on this so this is like a makeup brush this is 
quite a large one these are also really good now this has already got some blue on dark blue so but can you say that gives quite a nice smooth finish as well and because it's big you get you know you tend to cover the areas quicker so I'm going to come in with a little bit of seedless grape just bear with me because I just need to add some tape to this it's driving me nuts to make sure it uh, stays on okay let me just line it up there with Right, curls up after a while. Why I don't just use a clean piece, I don't know. But I get addicted to collecting inked up pieces of cards. I don't know why. That's me. Okay, so we'll come in with the seedless grapes. And we'll give that a go now. I'm just going to get my purple brush. I have like a different brush, uh, kind of, you know, for each family. For each colour, dab it on. Now that's quite juicy. I didn't realise quite how juicy that was actually. Hang on. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go left to right really, really lightly. Can you say really, really lightly? So that gives a little bit of a purple tinge, which I quite like. I mean, you can use, uh, I think it's a villainous potion. That's another purple. That quite this this is more of a pinky purple, um, but there are other you know oxides. They're all oxides, so I'll leave it at that. Now, I did this on my last um, video, but this is a little trick, and I've never mentioned it before. It was a lovely lady who does demonstrations for a different company. Uh, her name's Karen and she showed this little trick bear with me one second using kitchen paper now we use this you know when I've done my tag I used it on my tag tutorial so basically what she does if you can see this so she she rips it just your regular everyday kitchen roll Okay, you see how it gives that like kind of jagged edge? So, let's do the purple. And you literally just brush up. Can you see the can you see the effect it has? I mean you can use you know any colour that you want really. Any dark blues or again if you want to use another shade of purple. You know, that's always good. So, one second. I'll just put a little bit more on. because This is quite juicy. So, just gradually. And then just move around. Just move your, your, your roll, your kitchen roll around. And you see the effect that you get. It's quite nice, actually. I mean, you can change it. You can use a blue. You know any you know any dark color but this is what I do it kind of gives a nice effect and just keep turning it any any direction doesn't matter just gives a little bit of texture to the sky okay Let's see it's slightly better down here actually Okay, right, so I'm happy with that sky, I think we'll, we'll have a, a little bit of a dusky kind of evening sky. So I use, um, these are called pan pastels, so I use this quite a lot for, um, you know, it, it, it's kind of like a chalk. So 
So I like to use this for the moon because you haven't got like a sharp uh, kind of outline and it, it, it kind of leaves a smudgy. I'll show you now. So I'm using my finger. Got it on my finger. It goes everywhere as well, guys, by the way. Now you can use this, you can use um, chalk pencils, you can buy them uh, uh, on the website. I don't, I'm not sure if Cardio do them or when, I don't know if Wendy does them. But you see how it gives like a nice smudgy, not too bright. You know, failing that, I mean, keep applying obviously layer after layer to brighten it up. But that, I think that's enough. I will do that so that's basically how I do my skies now if you want to do like um, you know like a sunset sky you can use like the yellows and the oranges um, I can always do that maybe on another tutorial give you a different skyline so I will do that I've just done this one for today just to give people, because we've had quite a few requests of, you know, how to do the skies, what I use kind of thing. But any shades of blues, you know, purples, I'm not going to go over with, if you go over with it with the black soot, it will darken everything to make it look like a night sky. So for today, if we'll come up, you know, we'll just use the, uh, just those three colours. Now somebody also asked, I'm so sorry, I can't remember names, I'm rubbish. But somebody asked about um, building a scene. So their comment was something like, on our Facebook page, we're like, you know, I look at the stamps and don't know where to place them. I'm so sorry, I can't remember your name. So I'm just taking the sticky off. Bear with me a minute. So... You know, if, if you want to leave this as a snowy scene, that's fine. Um, if you want to, you know, add a green for the grass, then all you do, you get your top half of this, which I think I've still got. Yeah. So what you do then, I'm just going to add some tape to this. So what you do then, you would line it up, okay, and then you can add whatever colour you want. So that's what that's what I would do. So today I'm going to leave it as a, a kind of a snowy scene for now. So it's just white. I know we're probably all a little bit fed up with snow, and I'm sorry. Um. I'm trying to do all different ones so people can, you know, do different scenes for different seasons. So for now, we'll do that. So I thought what I'd do is for that lovely lady that asked the question, I thought I might make uh, like a little scene, just something simple, nothing major. Um, so I'm using the stamp, the gate stamp from the On The Fence set from cardio okay so i'm, I'm gonna use my uh stamp platform to do this okay so i'm just putting the card let's get it up there so you can see yeah okay so I'm going to decide where I want to put the stamp. So I'm thinking, I don't want to bring the stamp, you know, all the way across. So maybe, yeah, we'll just put it there. I think it'll look quite nice there, actually. So I'm going to place that there. Pull it over. Right. So that's in place now. And I'm using a 
Versa Fine Claire. This is really, really good, you know, for stamping your images and things like that. The oxides are lovely, actually, for stamping. You know, if you want to mix your colours or do stuff like that, or if you don't want something too, you know, too bold, um, the oxides, I find, that they're quite nice. And if you put use them on your stamping platform, if you've got one, uh, you know, you can keep repeating till you get the desired shade, but they're quite light. But these are quite, they these give a nice crisp, uh, you know, kind of effect. Now, I've got this in pine cone, same ink, different colour. So, I'm going to use the pine cone just for a, just for a change. And I'm just going to ink up the stamp. And I'm going to add some scrap just to the side of here because obviously the stamp's going over, over the end. So I'll bring, this, bring over the stamp. And the beauty of the platforms is, I don't know about you guys, I'm absolutely rubbish at getting it right first time. I can never get, you know, I don't know how Wendy does it, she's amazing, but I can never ever get, you know, a clear... Uh, stamp first time first impression kind of thing so although that said that's not too bad i'm quite pleased with that actually but i'll do it i'll just do it again just to make sure we've got it all covered There you go. Okay, so that's the fence done. Let's just take this off and put it on side. I'll clean them later. Okay, so I thought maybe we could put like one of the foxes in. So I've grabbed the new beginning so this is i've just ordered this just had this not very long ago i'm going to be honest guys i was naughty really i ordered it for that owl because i just adore that owl um i put a post up i think it was last weekend where i embossed it in white and against the night sky it's so pretty uh really pretty however that was the the you know original reason but then when I got them, I also did a tag uh, using the little fox. And they are so cute. They are so cute. But today, I'm going to use this gorgeous fella here. Okay. I'm going to use him. I'm just going to see. Just perhaps put in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's sit in there. Okay, so I'm bringing over my platform lid to pick him up. Oh, another little tip, guys, as well. You know when you stand with Versafine uh, Claire, just get a scrap, a bit of scrap, just blob it. Because it, you can actually, not that I've ever done it, but you can actually emboss with this, apparently because it takes longer to dry than the normal the normal stamps okay so i'm going to go in with the brown again okay and uh the, the pine cone same color as i've used for the fence so like i said we'll keep this simple it's more really like just building up a little scene Sure, I'm in shot here. Sorry. I'll give it a good press. Okay. 
okay so you see how I never get a good impression first time so I'll go in again with the ink let's go over it again press down and you have to give it a bit of a press with with solid um stamps you need to you know give it a little bit of a press now with scripts you know like your your little sentiments beware of pushing too hard because i've done the same with them in the past on here or on a on a stamp block and it it's it splurges or you you know comes out all blur Okay, so I'm happy with that. It's quite cool, actually. So there's our little fox, Mr. Fox. Okay, so thought I might add maybe a tree or two. Okay, so I love these trees. I'll just find one that I took out. These are the winter trees set, and I absolutely love them. I use them for so many things. So I'm just going to put the tree in. Turn, let's grab this. Let's just see. Uh, so I'll go that way around it. Yeah. There we go. It goes the other way. Okay, so I'm happy with that. This how you can put, you know, put your stamps anywhere you want. Always use the, um, you know, the clear, the cellophane with all the pictures on because that's really helpful too. Okay. So I'm going to do this one in black. I can find where I've put it. There we go. Black Nocturne. Black Versafine. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, you know, I mean, that basically, I will leave things at that. However, you know, before you add the gate, once you've done your sky, you know, you can you can put your mask back on and you can do, uh, you know, trees in the background and things like that, you know, behind, so it's showing behind here. Uh, let me say, bear with me. I'm sure I've got some hickory smoke somewhere. There we go. I've got some hickory smoke. I'm going to get a baby wipe. We'll have a go. We'll have a go at the. I haven't used this in a while, so I don't know. Ooh, it's a bit juicy, that one is, isn't it? Hold on. So, I don't know. You know, maybe just do a couple of... couple of trees in the background. Because they're paler... Always do it. Any anything you're doing in the background, always try and make them slightly paler. Looks a bit, a little bit more realistic. Or you can use black soot. You know, wipe a lot of, wipe a lot of it off, uh, and then maybe you know apply it. But always dab some off. Don't put it straight on. 
there you go so you see and then what i normally do is if you know any of your branches from your tree sets um you know like these little or these little branches here anything like that you could then leave your mask on there and just stamp in very pale stamp like second generation stamping so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to grab my chalk pencils so i've got some chalk pencils i love these love 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 them they're great for kind of doing smudgy lines and things like that so i'm going to just move this stamping platform because we're done with the stamping now So what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of a shadow. But first of all, let me just do a little, a few of these little uh, kind of snow mounds. So again, torn paper. I haven't put any more ink on. Okay. And it just gives like, you know, like light coverage. Nothing major, see? And just do a little bit here so we're kind of grinding, grinding the tree. Okay. So can you see what effect it has? Just some torn paper, different directions. It makes it look like it's, you know, all uneven snow. I mean, I could do this all day. I love doing this. I just love the effect that it gives. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it up. Can you see the little snow mounds there? Okay, so a little bit of shadowing. What I tend to do is just really lightly because it's quite smudgy. So what I tend to do is very lightly go over it and then I get cotton bud and smudge it. See? Do the same for the tree. Just a little bit, not too much. You can always add, you can't take away. Okay, there you go. So you've got a little bit of a shadow going on there. Let's smudge that in a little bit. There you go. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my Posca. I have a white Posca pen somewhere. There you go. So Posca white. So I'm going to use this to, just to do some spats for some stars. So shake it up. Then just tap it. Let me say. Can either be snow or stars, depending how much you know you want to put on. So that's up. And if you want to add any highlights to the tree, you know, for the moon, the moon shining that way. Okay, so just highlight it just lightly, just a couple of little bit, nothing too much, but just enough. You know, to see that it's shining on there. Don't have to be no fussy. Nothing like that. Just little bits. I 
I'm not fussy when I do it at all. As people keep asking me how I do this. So you can see me doing it now. You can see I'm not making too much fuss. But can you see the difference it makes? Just having a couple of, you know, a couple of strokes against the trees. It, it just makes it pop a little bit. It just brings it to life a little bit. Okay, but obviously you guys can spend more time, you know, when you do it yourself. But it always looks nice, I think, against the dark sky. And that's it, really. Okay guys, well I think I'm happy with that, I hope it's helped some of the questions, I mean please, you know, if there's anything else that we can help with, just let us know, we're more than happy to have a go at anything for you, you know, within our means obviously, but we'll, you know, we'll have a go, with myself, um, Laura, Crafty Cats, all of us, you know, more than happy to have a go. Okay, so that's it for now. That's a little simple creation for today and I hope it's helped. Thanks a lot, guys. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.